welcome all students today we consider composition of two stem mutually perpendicular to each other and frequency in the ratio 1 to 1 okay so for that we consider one stem which is along the x axis and another stem along y axis so they are mutually perpendicular to each other therefore as we consider along x axis the stm is x equal to a sin of twice omega t plus phi equation first then along y axis we consider y equal to b sin omega t this is equation second right these are the two stms having frequency in the ratio 1 as to 2 there is one Three, two, okay, and phi difference is phi. These two SHMs are acting along x-axis and y-axis, so they are mutually perpendicular to each other. Then we have to subject the particle under these two SHMs, okay? So first we consider an equation first. From that equation, we have x upon a equal to sine of twice omega t plus phi. Okay. So write this equation: x upon a equal to sine twice omega t cos omega t plus cos Twice omega t sine. Okay. Now oh, we correct here the equation. So you have to write this sine of twice omega t plus phi. So write this equation as sine of twice omega t cos phi plus Cos twice omega t sine phi in this form. That means we have to use the formula sine of two theta, and in that write sine of twice omega t plus phi equal to sine twice omega t cos phi plus cos twice omega t sine phi. That is the expansion of sine of omega t plus phi. Okay. Then next we write. Equal to then we have to write this sine twice omega t that is two sine omega t cos omega t then cos phi okay plus you write this cos twice omega t in terms of one minus two sine square omega t. Into this sine phi like this, right? So write next step that is x upon a equal to two sine omega t sine omega t. Then we write this. Cos omega t, that is root one minus sine square omega t, like this. Okay, into cos phi, cos phi plus in bracket one minus twice. Sine square omega t into sine phi. Okay, so this is next equation. Then from equation second, write y upon b equal to sine omega t. That is y upon b equal to sine omega t. Then we substitute sine omega t as y upon b in our equation. So we write here. X upon a equal to two 
y upon b into root raise is 1 minus y square upon b square into cos phi plus in bracket 1 minus 2 times y square upon b square into sin phi right so in next step we write x upon a then we take this term to left side so we write here x upon a minus in bracket 1 minus twice y square upon b square into sin phi equal to 2 times y upon b in root 1 minus y square upon b square cos phi okay cos phi is the out of root okay so in that step to write this equation x upon a minus sin phi we multiply sin phi to 1 to write sin phi okay then minus minus plus right plus 2 times y square upon b square into sin phi sin phi equal to twice y upon b root 1 minus y square upon b square into cos phi right then in next step we have to square on both sides that means squaring this equation on both sides therefore we write here we write the bracket here like this therefore we square on both sides so a is square and we do square of this term that is like this Okay, so as we write the squaring that is x upon a minus sin phi bracket square. Okay, plus then we have to write square of this 4 y raised to 4 upon b raised to 4 sin square phi plus right two times two times this two term okay so write 4 y square upon b square and in bracket to write x upon a minus sin phi this term into sin phi right equal to here we have to write 4 y square upon b square 4 y square upon b square then write in bracket one minus y square upon b square into cos square phi cos square phi this is the cos so square is cos square phi therefore that in next step so we simplify this term then write here x upon a minus sin phi bracket square plus we take this term that is 4 y raised to 4 upon b raised to 4 sin square phi then plus 4 y square upon b square 4 y square upon b square 
इन ब्रैकेट में राइट एक्स अपॉन ए माइनस साइन फाइव इंटू साइन फाइव ओके राइट इक्वल टू इक्वल टू वेट टू राइट दिस टर्म फाइव सेपरेटिंग दैट इज फोर वाई स्क्र अपॉन बी स्क्र इंटू पा स्क्र फाइव फोर वाई स्क्र अपॉन बी स्क्र इंटू पा स्क्र फाइव पा स्क्र फाइव माइनस माइनस फोर वाई रेस टू फोर अपॉन बी रेस टू फोर पा स्क्र फाइव फोर वाई रेस टू फोर अपॉन बी रेस टू फोर पा स्क्र फाइव ओके therefore we take this term to left side then we write x upon a minus sin phi bracket square plus okay so this is 4 minus 4 upon b raised to 4 sin square phi and this become plus when we take to this side so this becomes plus b raised to 4 4 b raised to 4 upon b raised to 4 cos square phi Then we we'll take common that is four minus two four upon b raised to four. So right here, four minus two four upon b raised to four. In back and we write sine square five plus cos square five. Okay. Then next term is we we'll take plus four y square upon b square in back and x minus. सॉरी एक्स अपॉन ए माइनस साइन फाइव इंटू साइन फाइव इक्वल टू फोर वाई स्क्वेर अपॉन बी स्क्वेर कॉ स्क्वेर फाइव ओके देन दिस बिकम्स वन राइट एक्स अपॉन ए माइनस साइन फाइव ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर प्लस Four y square upon b square, right? Then plus. Then we take this term. So right here, multiply four y square upon b square. Bracket. Write this term like like this. X upon a minus sine phi. Equal to sine phi. Equal to four y square upon b square cos square phi again. Now in next step we write x upon a minus sine phi bracket square plus four y square upon right here this to four. Is to four. Four minus two four upon b raised to four minus. We take this term to that side, right? Minus four y square upon b square cos square phi plus. Then we simplify this term, and by simplification we can write. Four y square upon b square x upon a into sine phi. Okay, sine phi. Then minus four y square upon b square into sine square phi equal to zero. Okay, equal to zero. Therefore, in next step, write this. 
x upon a minus sin phi square plus right 4 y raised to 4 upon b raised to 4 okay this term then here is cos square phi and here is sin square phi so we take minus sin common minus 4 y square upon b square okay then we write in bracket cos square phi plus sin square phi okay so this term we have written then last term is plus 4 y square upon b square x upon a into sin phi x upon a into sin phi equal to 0 ok so next step we have to write x upon a minus sin phi bracket square plus we we'll take this term 4 y square x upon a b square into sin phi plus 4 x y square upon a b square into sin phi ok write this term then write next term minus Four y square upon b square this term so this should become 1 then we write this minus 4 y square upon b square plus then we write this term 4 y raised to 4 upon b raised to 4 equal to 0 right so we write next step x upon a minus sin phi bracket square plus we take common here that is 4 y square upon b square from this term 4 y square upon b square common common and common so right here plus 4 y square upon b square common ok then we right here 4 y raised to 4 upon b raised to 4 we will take common 4 y square upon b square then remaining is y square upon b square right then next is plus what is which term will remain here that is 4 y square upon b square 4 y square upon b square right here x upon a sin phi ok x upon a into sin pi minus so here is 1 equal to 0 ok so this equation that we have written here this is the resultant part of the particle under two SHMs having frequency ratio 1 as to 1 ok so this is the last equation which gives the resultant part then we consider two special cases so for that we take case first case first in case first we have to take that is the angle phi and in case first we consider phi equal to 0 ok we take phi equal to 0 or phi equal to phi right when we put here phi equal to 0 then sin 0 is 0 therefore we write here sin 0 equal to 0 then we have to convert this equation and this equation becomes that is x upon a minus x upon a minus 1 sorry 
x upon a only, right? x upon a square because they are sine zero is zero, right? Plus we take next four y square upon b square four y square upon b square in bracket. Here y square upon b square plus this term zero minus one, so right? y square upon b square minus 1 equal to 0 ok so this is the last equation and this equation is the figure of 8 ok this equation gives the figure of 8 and that can be drawn like this you will draw this here yeah. then we have to write here y x and figure of it means we have to take symbol of 8 ok so this is the figure of 8 and this equation gives the figure of 8 that means we get the one figure for first case and it figure is the 8 ok so this is the this of those figure then next we consider second case case second and in case second we take this phi equal to that is pi by 2 phi equal to pi by 2 or also we write this sin phi equal to 1 ok then we write this equation x upon a minus 1 bracket square ok plus next is 4 pi square upon b square again we have to substitute here sin phi equal to 1 then we write here 4 y square upon b square in bracket y square upon b square plus x upon a minus 1 equal to 0. So next we simplify this equation and in simplification we are going to write this equation and x upon a minus 1 bracket square plus 4 y square upon b square 4 y square upon b square then we write this term that is x upon a minus 1 then we write plus this 4 y raised to 4 upon b raised to 4 by multiplication equal to 0 ok then this is the square of term that is x upon a minus 1 plus 2y square upon b square bracket square equal to 0 ok so this is this square we will get this term right then we simplify this therefore after simplification we write here that is x upon a minus 1 plus 2 y square upon b square that is equal to 0 because here we have removed the square equating to 0 then we write x upon a minus 1 equal to minus 2 y square upon b square right or lastly we write y square equal to minus b square upon twice a in bracket x minus a so this is the last equation and this equation is the equation of parabola Okay, this is the equation of parabola and this can be drawn like this. That means 
consider y axis this is the x axis okay then the nature of parabola is like this we take this zero and here is vertex a okay x axis this y axis so this equation gives the equation of parabola okay so with this lecture i stop here thanks to all students